So I'm going live. You're live, yay! So apparently I'm live at the moment. Let's see. Once this thing starts working, come on. Yes, I am. Wonderful. Hello, everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Resident Evil 3 demo, the single level demo, on the RX 570, then 1050 Ti, then 1650 Super, just like I did yesterday on Doom Eternal. How are you guys doing? Good to see you. Everything fine. <laughs> if you want to download this demo, there's a link in the description for the Steam page. Is eight gigabytes, so it shouldn't take very long to download, as far as I know. So at the moment, the menu is exactly the same as Resident Evil 2, but we got again the X11 and 12. The the X11 seems to be running better at the moment. I tested very quickly to see the difference. It was like five FPS more on the X11. So yeah, make sure to keep the X11 at the moment. Then resolution 1080p. Until I've seen FXAA plus TAA, just the same as RE2. Textures, I kept it on high 2 gigabytes to keep the GPU memory below 4.5 gigabytes. It's at 4.31, but it's not 100% accurate. Then we get, okay, shadows instead of maximum, <laughs> we're keeping it on high. Shadow cache enabled, screen space reflections, uh, subsurface scattering. Then we got volumetric lighting quality. This was the biggest performance difference on Resident Evil 2 Remake. So at the moment I'll keep it on high. If it drops below 60, I'll lower it to see the difference. Particle lighting on the highest. HBAO Plus, which is the maximum quality. And then we got Lens Flare, Bloom, Death of Field. And there's also Fidelity FX Cast plus Upscaling. Not sure what this does. It's probably just some What's the name of this? Some sharpening, the dynamic sharpening from AMD. So yeah, let's jump right into the game. Now that we are here. Sí, va a correr una 750 Ti, sin dudas. Yeah, I should run on the 750 Ti. I mean, if it works on the... Um, what's the name of this? If it works on Resident Evil 2 Remake, it was going to run just fine, so yeah. Crisis 1060, why? It runs like the 1650 Super so far. Anyways, I'm going to skip this because I'm going to just play the game. Oh yeah, at the moment I'm getting upper 70s, low 80s in this closed environment. We'll see once we get outside. But yeah, so far running like Resident Evil 2 Remake. So yeah. No sé, cinefilo, lo acabo de abrir. Ok. Me compré el Ryzen 3600, sé si vale la pena hacerlo C. Y yo personalmente no le hice C y andaba lo más bien. Yeah, this engine is amazing. It uses a lot of VRAM, but it's amazing. Ok. Let's move out. But yeah, at the moment, oh, I forgot to put that this is 1080p max high textures. Because basically that's it. I'm using that due to the VRAM amount. We only have four gigabytes. If you have eight gigabytes on your 570, use the maximum settings. It should be all right. Not this way, apparently. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the game looks good, just like Resident Evil 2 Remake. Wasn't expecting a huge difference, <laughs> to be honest. A year, games that are a year apart shouldn't be that different, so... So yeah. Y 3 9100F, 1660 Super. Sí, te veré más bien si la RAM está en Dual Channel. No, no problema. You can see the link to get the demo in the description, man. The demo is available to everyone. I'm not going to read that. Thank you very much. Yo, me again. Yet? 
Okay, let's see what happens. At the moment, it's running okay. But we're in a close environment again. Let's wait for the open places. Okay, so um, camp powder. They're very generous with the items. It's clearly a demo. Oh, you can. Okay. You can dodge. Red Herb, classic Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Okay, wonderful. Collectibles, <laughs> never miss them. Anything over here? Apparently no. Nothing here. Okay, we're going outside now. Let's skip that. Okay, shooting just like Resident Evil 2. Headshot. But yeah, now that we're in an open place, it doesn't seem to be that different. And we are completely maxed out, except the Intaxious and some of the shadows due to the VRAM limitations. But yeah, at the moment, we are okay. I would say it runs even better than RE2 at the moment. Okay, that was worthless. I forgot the dodge button. The dodge button is... Which one is it? Oh, it's space. Okay, space to dodge. Gotcha. Let's get past him. Yeah, the classic strategy. A headshot and run past him. Quick step. Okay, just what I was talking about. Some more gunpowder. Okay, now here we drop a little bit more into the mid 70s. Let me see if lowering, like on Resident Evil 2, the volumetric effects helps in any way whatsoever. So we're going to go down here to volumetric lighting. Let's drop it to low just to see if there's any difference in the frame rate, like on the previous game. And okay, there's a difference 3 FPS more, 4 FPS more. No big deal, let's keep it on high, like like it was a second ago. Oh, you can even turn it off, hang on. Okay, if you turn it off, not a huge difference. Let's just keep it on high for the time being. Doesn't seem to be... Well, there are no volumetric effects present anyways at the moment, so... Probably has to do with it. Do you know the reason of the stuttering? What's stuttering? Oh, probably the, like on Resident Evil 2, sometimes the CPU plays some big role in that, not sure. But yeah, I'll find out soon enough. Let's skip that. Okay. Of course, red barrels, you know what that means. Okay, when the barrel exploded, it dropped into the upper 50s. No big deal. Still way over our target, so no worries. But the RAM usage is going closer to 8 gigabytes. I probably have to lower textures a little bit. But yeah. Let's get away from here. <laughs> but yeah, outside of that moment, it's still over 60. We'll see once Nemesis shows up. But right now it's okay. Hi, Games Choices, how are you doing? Good to see you. I don't know the combination. Some more gunpowder. They're very, <laughs> they're very generous with the loot. But yeah, this is a demo, so I wasn't expecting anything less. Hello there. more ammo yes please okay Friday night be like yeah I think it's going okay let me try 1440p to spice things up a little bit so we're going to crank it up 
and we're also going to lower textures a little bit in a second let me try that change okay now we are at 1440 we lower textures to high one gigabyte and it's loading some new assets so yeah let me change the status to 1440p max and this textures are called high one gigabyte for some reason and here we're already below 60 yeah I probably need to lower the settings in this case sorry about that dude too many headshots all right oh hello I'm going to lower the settings in a little bit. Be patient with me, guys. But as you can see now, when I dropped the textures, we went from over a gigabyte of RAM usage to seven gigabytes. So yeah, if you want to do 1440p or something like that, make sure to lower the, the textures to high one gigabyte. But yeah, at the moment, it's doing fine. All right, what else? Yeah, I think there's nothing here. Let me check. Never mind, <laughs> there's gunpowder. And I'm, go I'm going to combine it with uh, normal gunpowder for shotgun shells. And there's something over here. Okay, more herbs. Let's use one. All right, let me lower the settings a little bit. I'm going to first lower ambient occlusion from HBAO plus to SSAO. That's usually a good boost. Yeah, let's keep it on SSAO. We were at 52 frames. Now we jump to 68. So yeah, basically, if you want a performance boost, sorry, the I forgot about the frame rate counter. My apologies. There you go. Now you can see it. So yes, I was saying we jump from 52 FPS to 67 by dropping from HBAO plus to SSAO. So we're changing this to max plus SSAO. And let's see if we can stay at over 60. Probably not, but it's worth trying. Okay, I already got the pharmacy. With the explosion, we drop into the mid 50s, no big deal. Explosions don't happen all the time, but it's worth seeing. Yeah, they're very, they're very generous with the loot. I say, I said that many times, but yeah, I mean, I have four, I have 40 bullets, two healing items. I got a lot of stuff. Okay, let's drag them to this barrel. Let's see another explosion. Stay there, I need your friends to come closer. Come on. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, this one was worse. We dropped into the mid-40s. But I'll lower the settings in a second. I can't wait for this game to release. I don't want to play the demo at this moment. Okay, that's fine. The game is releasing next week, I think, on Friday. I'll be streaming it too, I think, or probably not. Probably going to make the usual videos on it and be happy about life. Yeah, I need to waste some bullets now. Oh yeah, the Resident Evil 4 effect, <laughs> you just hit locks. Okay, wonderful. Now I got this box, let's keep this in the box. The shotgun shells and a few pistol rounds. Now I can enter more places with this, wonderful. 
Oh yeah, I think this is a good combination at the moment of settings using 1440p max high shadows, SSAO high one gigabyte textures, and you're getting basically over over 50 FPS. Drops into the mid 40s with explosions that don't happen very often. So yeah, right now, so far so good. Basically running like Resident Evil 2 Remake with less of an impact on volumetric effects. Come on, I got a lot of bullets. They're installing the demo right now, awesome. I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, okay, <laughs> surprise. Okay, two for one, great, more ammo. Shotgun shells, just when I saved my own. Okay, let's keep those over there. I probably won't need them. Okay, I wasted enough bullets, I think. Stay out of my way. Okay, where else? Oh, there's another door. After the donut shop. I didn't see that. Oh, okay. Back where I started. Boom, headshot. Yeah, so far it's controlling just like RE2, but you have a dodge button. This one. But yeah, so far so good. I'll lower the settings a little bit more. Let me see if I can get into the upper 60s, low 70s. I'm going to now lower shadow. Now shadows don't make a huge difference in this game in particular. Let's lower the volumetric light into low to have some sort of volumetrics. I mean, the glution, let's keep it the same. Let's, let's disable the fidelity effects just to see if it makes a difference. Uh, let's see if it changes anything at all. Okay, a few extra frames, no huge difference. We're still dropping below 60. So let's drop some more stuff. Let's try with shadows. I don't think it'll make a huge difference, but let's do it. Um, Voltometric lighting, let's turn it off. Let's lower the particles, keep SSAO on set areas only. Not sure what that means actually, but it looked good on Resident Evil 2 Remake, so yeah, let's try that. Yeah, not a difference at all. So I'm going to keep lowering everything. Let's disable this, whatever, that fulfilled. Okay, the that fulfilled made a small difference. Now it's SAO. This test on low. Screen space reflections. Okay, the screen space reflections is the biggest difference at the moment. We went from low 60s to low 70s. So if you want a difference in performance, make sure to turn this off, but the game will look much worse. So consider that when <laughs> playing the game. All right. Yeah, basically the reflections. Let's see if I can put, yeah. You can even put SSAO. So if you want to keep SSAO, you can disable reflections at 1440p. No big deal. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, without reflections, I can crank up a lot of stuff. But the game looks, yeah, much worse. <laughs> and it's having some visual glitches. So yeah, just for the fun of it, let's try 4K. So 4K, let's do it. Yeah, this is what I look like. Hello, nice to meet you, Santiago Santiago. Okay, hopefully it didn't crash. Mejor optimizado que el 2 y por ahora corre parecido, un poco más exigente. Some people were asking me in Spanish if the game is running better than RE2. And so far, is running, I mean, is it, if it's better optimized, 
So far it's running a little bit worse, but there's more stuff going on than on Resident Evil 2 Remake. So yeah, now I'm doing 4K, just for the fun of it, as I said a second ago. So this is 4K low. I'm going to lower basically most of the stuff here. So no reflections, no subsurface scattering, no particle lighting quality. Yeah, let's disable that. No ambient occlusion. What else? No fidelity effects, no screen distortion. I think I'm almost done, no gloom. And let's keep shadows on low as well, because why not? And we keep the FXAA plus TAA to avoid those alias borders. And I'm going to show you the, the, the frame rate counter that is very tiny. That's why you're seeing it so blocky. I apologize in advance, but this is what we got. And at 4K low settings, we're getting yeah, basically 40 frames per second. You might be able to crank some things up to get it to 30. But my guess is when explosions happen, it's not going to look so good. Yeah, we're now dropping into the upper 30s. So yeah, with fire on screen, it's not going to last. Let me throw a grenade. Let's see what happens. Waiting for you. Okay, not bad. <laughs> Two for one. Yeah, not bad considering it's 4K. And the game still looks pretty good. Much much less, I mean, much less depth to the scene. There's no ambient occlusion. There's no reflections. That definitely changes the look of the game. But if you want to play at 4K, you can do it. So yeah, let's now swap GPUs. We're now using the 570. I'm going to change for the 1050 Ti you know, worst case scenario stuff, as usual. Now we're on 1080p, and I'm going to put it on maximum settings, just to have it already set up for the other card. Yeah, not 4K, come on, 1080p, Jesus game. Okay, and we're going to lower the textures to high, high two gigabytes. Shadows on high, and that's about it. The rest can be cranked up just fine. So yeah, this is basically how it runs at the 570. Sorry about the numbers here, it's a little messed up. But yeah, you get the point. On the 570 you can do 1080p almost maxed out. You only need to lower the shadows and the the shadows to high, which is one step below the maximum. And the textures need to be lowered to high as well, to high two gigabytes. But yeah, that's how it runs on the 570. Let's try the 1050 Ti now, and then the 1650 Super as usual. So give me one second, I'm going to delete the drivers, install the Nvidia drivers and try it again. Doom 2016 on the 1050 Ti runs very well. Yeah, it does. It has OpenGL and Vulkan. And some people told me that OpenGL on their end was going very well. But Doom Eternal is Vulkan only, so that's already a disadvantage for the 1050 Ti. So things to keep in mind. Right now I'm deleting the drivers of the AMD card, so <laughs> be patient. As you can see, I'm now deleting drivers. Yeah, 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 I know. GPU, AMD, clean and shut down. There's going to be probably some artifacts on the screen. For some reason, when I'm deleting drivers, I get a very wicked <laughs> green screen with lines. So be careful about flashing lights. You're being warned. Flashing lights coming. Yeah, I'm going to disable that so you don't see it. Oh, that's what I run into when I delete the AMD drivers for some reason. See, sí, demo gratuito. The demo is free, guys. Link in the description to download it. It's on Steam. Completely free for everyone. You don't have to pay a dime to play it. 
and it's available right now so go play it eight gigabytes of download so yeah won't take long okay i'm going to now change the camera perspective so you see what i'm doing sorry about the disgusting wall <laughs> i need to fix it but yeah i'm now removing the 570 from the test bench as you can see here's the 570 570 4 gigabytes we're going to put it over here and i'm going to grab the 1050 ti the single fan version without a six pin connector and i'm going to put it into the test bench and install the drivers okay it's in and be patient i'm installing drivers right now Ryzen 5 2600 RX 5600 XT. Oh, you can play way past 1080p just fine. So, no worries. Okay, almost back. I'll put the drivers into the install. Because that's what you do. So yeah, be patient with me. I'm installing the 1050Ti drivers as of right now. 1050 Ti, wonderful. And on the status, yeah, the specs, I'm using a 1050 Ti now. So I'll change that. Okay, perfect. I'm surprised since it's the RE engine. Well, yeah, the RE engine on the AMD cards runs amazing. Don't get me wrong. So yeah, the 570, if you didn't see it, you can rewind the live stream. The 570 was 1080p maximum except in shadows that have to be on high and the textures that have to be on high two gigabytes. That made us get over 60 all the time, basically. Sometimes it drops into the 60s with explosions on screen, just a couple seconds, no big deal. Then you can do 1440p over 50 frames per second using high shadows, SSAO instead of HBAO+, and you get a pretty decent experience. Or you can just disable the reflections and be over 60 all the time. So yeah, and then um, if you want to do 4K, you can do medium to low settings at 30 frames per second. So yeah, I mean, it runs fine. Nothing to talk about on that front. On the 570, it's okay. So yeah, yeah, it's a cute dog on the background. It's not mine, but hey, I like the background, so let's put it there. Very nice one. I can only find 442.59 version for my 1650 Super. What do you mean? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, Ryzen 5 and 600, A320, 1660. Yeah, you're fine. That one will be just okay. Don't you have a 1650? No, I no longer have a 1650 non-Super because I think it's a scam. You shouldn't get, you shouldn't get one. Please don't get a 1650 non-Super unless it's very, very cheap which is usually not the case, it's a very new card. Okay, so the drivers are now installed. Let's jump right into the game after launching MSI Afterburner. There you are. Oh, and I forgot I need to launch the NVIDIA control panel, so it'll take a couple more seconds. I'm using drivers 442.74, the latest ones on the AMD, on the AMD, on the NVIDIA webpage. So yeah. Come on. Okay, I'll restart the PC just to be sure. I usually, when I, when I install drivers, I forget to restart, so let's do it correctly. Puedes poner la configuración de la 570. Rebobina y están todas las configuraciones. Es jugar 1080p ultra, sombras en alto, texturas en alto. Más nada. I buy the 1650 before the Super, sad life. Yeah, well, most people were saying it was already a scam, but some people didn't listen. But yeah, they got away with it, which is unfortunate. <laughs> but yeah, they they screwed over all the um, all the people that got a 1650 on Super. Good guy, Nvidia. Okay, now the drivers are definitely installed. Let's launch the game. 
is going to probably run like Resident Evil 2 Remake, so I probably have to use medium to low settings to get 60 frames. And for some reason my camera... Okay, much better. The camera was just misbehaving. Do you have voltage in BIOS settings, auto or custom? I didn't change any BIOS thing, everything is on stock settings. Okay, I'm now into the game. So from the get-go, I'm going to jump into 1080p. So we jump right into 1080p. Then I'm going to keep this like it is. The textures will be on high 2 gigabytes like before. The mesh quality, at least in my experience on the previous game, didn't make much of a difference. Let's keep shadows on the minimum. Shadow cache, let's keep it enabled. It helped me a little bit. No reflections, no subsurface scattering, no volumetric lighting, low particle lighting. Let's put SSAO set areas only. Maybe it makes a difference. No bloom. Ah, the bloom doesn't make a huge difference either. Whatever. This does make a difference. This doesn't. Okay, let's keep it like this which is basically low settings, I would say. This is what I got on RE2 Remake. So low settings accepting textures, and we're keeping this so we get some good visuals. Good visuals, I mean, this is some dynamic sharpening that AMD uses, but it works on NVIDIA cards. So yeah. Do a Doom Eternal test. Also, I already tested Doom Eternal. I made all my content on that one. Alright, so we're now in a closed environment. We're already below 60 frames. That's not good. Let's go outside. And if outside doesn't make... It still stays below 60, I'll try the lowest settings. Which means no, um, no anti-aliasing, no post-processing solution. And the game seems to be loading assets kind of randomly because I'm getting some spikes on the CPU usage. Now it seems to be better, but yeah. Okay, some supplies. Thank you very much. <laughs> they are very generous with the supplies. Wonderful. Yeah, 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 I know. Let's combine items. I forgot the... No, I didn't forget anything. Let's go. And we're going to skip this. Okay, so I'm finally outside. For some reason this runs better than the train. What the heck? Not complaining. So yeah, let's keep going in the meantime. Yes, please. Okay, great. I'm trying to shoot them and run past them, but there's two of them, so... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, they are harder to stagger in comparison to the previous game. I forgot I have the dodge mechanic. They're probably going to get freed eventually. What I do notice right now is that the, um, the RAM usage is significantly lower than on the 570. The 570 was using like 7 gigabytes. So that's definitely something, definitely something to keep in mind. Still, the 570 didn't go over 8 gigabytes. So no big deal. Now they're going to be free. Let's see the explosion. I'm waiting for your friends. Okay, with the explosion, mid, mid 40s. Not unexpected. But yeah, this seems to be the performance on the 1050 Di. You need low settings, 
keep the anti-aliasing on TAA plus FXAA so you don't get the the alias hair, the alias trees, the game looks very clean and then you can also um, what else? Oh, and you can also do the dynamic sharpening, the fidelity effects sharpening. Oh, yeah, at the moment, this seems to be the the way to go if you're playing 1080p. Not bad. Very similar to Resident Evil 2 Remake. Let's swap to 900p now. Now let's put... Oh, and I have SSAO on set areas only, so there's some SSAO in some parts, in some others not so much. So yeah, we definitely get some slight extra effects in comparison to the previous game. Just for the sake of it, I'm going to crank it up to high settings to show you the differences. Some people for some reason want to do that. So I'm going to <laughs> happily oblige, or whatever it's called. So yeah, now this is high settings. As you can see, there's like a 15 to 20 FPS difference. But now there's reflections, there is more accurate ambient occlusion. I mean, if you don't mind being below 60, I want quality instead of performance. That's an option as well. So yeah. Probably on 720p, this is going to work fine. Let's now drop to 900p. I think that will be the best resolution for this card. So we'll change the status to 900p high. Because that's basically what we have here. FXAA plus TAA, high 2 gigabytes on the textures, high shadows, everything enabled. Let's lower ambient occlusion to SSAO. So this is... At least it looks good. <laughs> and what else? Yeah. And the rest is just enabled. And on 900p with these settings, yeah, you're at 60 frames, at least in this area. Probably going to drop with explosions, but explosions after they're done, you're back into the numbers that you want. So yeah. Okay, some drops into the upper 50s, no big deal. So yeah, definitely 900p should be the way to go on this card. You get shadows, you get good shadows, you get screen space reflections, you get ambient occlusion. So yeah, you get a, a bigger chunk of the package, graphics-wise. And with the um, temporal anti-aliasing, the game looks soft, so it's not a huge drop from 1080p. The game still looks good, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so yeah, you're not doomed yet. You're going to wake up, don't you? Oh, hello. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, with well, the explosion wasn't so bad. Some more ammo, awesome. Oh, okay, a shortcut. I don't want to go this way, maybe later. And I have to combine these things. Okay, a lot of ammo, a lot of healing items. This is definitely a demo. The full game will be much harder, I'm sure. Me dice que hace mucho que yo botella un i3 con una 5500XT. Debería, en la mayoría de los juegos. No llegarías a 60. Y algunos juegos con dos núcleos, cuatro hilos, no arrancan. Son pocos. Pero puede pasar. Wow, bullet time. But I failed with the one behind me. <laughs> Somebody was asking if an i3-4150 was going to be a bottleneck for an RX 5500 XT. And yes, it will be. You won't, you won't be able to get 60 frames on modern games. On most modern games. And also some games don't launch with two cores and four threads. Such as Rage 2. And then other games like to just stutter to no end. It's not very hard to dodge them. Not that I got the button in my <laughs> in my muscle memory. So yeah, not too bad. Wonderful. Oh, I forgot. I need to get the um, 
The crowbar. The crowbar. What am I saying? The, um, I don't know what's the name of this. The object that you use to cut chains. Bolt cutters. That's what I was looking for. Let's combine this. Beautiful. Now I can keep going. All right. Gotcha. So yeah, if you're playing on that 1050Ti, consider 900p high settings with SSAO. If you want more, if you want more quality, more quality, more frames, disable the reflections. That'll make a huge difference. But visually, the game will look significantly more flat or flatter. Not sure if that exists. So yeah, that's my advice. What am I dropping for this? Nothing. Shotgun shells. Not right now. Let's use the green herb. Why not? I'm going to grab the grenade. Thank you very much. Let's now try 720p. On 720p, I'm just going to go crazy on the highest settings without running out of VRAM. That's the objective. But yeah. Whoa, the game crashed. Okay, I gotta start all over again. No worries. Yeah, usually when you change settings a lot, the game will crash. It happens. On this game, I don't know, I never tried it. This is my first time playing it. But yeah, the game just crashed. <laughs> don't change the settings too much. Kids. But yeah, now I'm going to try 720p. Like I said a second ago. And we're going to go crazy on the settings. And by crazy I mean we keep shadows the same because if not we go to 6 gigs of usage. And what else? Instead of SSAO we're using HBAO+. And yeah. That's distortion, I don't like how it looks so let's disable it. Motion blur, why would you enable motion blur? Well in some games it looks good. On this one, it's a little distracting. Mm, yeah, basically 720p highest, but no, but high textures and shadows. Since it, we we run we run out of VRAM, so this is 720p max. High textures and shadows. I'm going to change the. <laughs> The frame rate counter, you can see it over there. Okay, perfect. You can now see the frame rate again. Beautiful. So yeah, let's jump right into the game again. Unfortunately, we have to restart the progress, but hey, it's a demo. I wasn't expecting much, really. But oh man, oh man, the hair doesn't look good at 720p. Anyways. I'm going up to street level. So yeah, at 720p we shouldn't have much of a problem maintaining 60 frames on the maximum settings. Again, except in shadows and textures. So yeah, although for some reason the VRAM usage is nowhere close to what the game told me. The game told me it was going to be like 4 gigabytes. We're stuck at 3.2. Oh, never mind. The game is going up and up and up on the VRAM usage. So yeah, it was definitely the correct VRAM usage. Never mind. Okay, let's combine everything. I don't want to get my inventory filled up. So with this, we get some ammo. Okay, already in the first two minutes, I have 40 bullets, basically. <laughs> Let's go outside. Guys, stay at home, wash your hands. If not, this will happen. And you're no, no good with guns, I know you. It's not going to be good for any of us. Por gastar en Mortal Kombat 11, bueno, cosas que pasan, decisiones.
So the 1660, the best budget GPU right now. I think the best budget GPU in the range on the price of the 1660 is the 1660 Super. It runs almost like a 1660 Ti, basically. But it's cheaper than a 1660 Ti. It's cheaper than a 1070, I think. It depends if you get it on the used market. And you get 6 gigs of VRAM. Which is not a huge amount, but it's enough for what we got at the moment. So yeah. I think that the best one on that range is the 1660 Super. Then on the cheaper side of things, the 570 and 580 are unbeatable, price to performance. You have the 1650 Super, yeah, but it's not... At least in my country, it's much cheaper to get a 580 and you get more memory. So yeah. At least in my country, on cheaper cars than a 1660 Super, there's no way to beat the AMD cards. The 580 and 570, I mean. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, on 720p is just fine on these settings. Probably a little too blurry if you're used to play on 900p or 1080p. But definitely doable. If you want higher resolutions, consider 900p with SSAO. And you'll be getting 60 frames. Uh, some drops into the mid 50s sometimes. Maybe into the low 50s if there's a lot of effects. But again, completely playable. You get more pixels on the screen. The game still looks good with SSAO. So yeah, just tamper with your expectations. Thank you for the loot. Also, the enemies take a lot more bullets to get staggered in comparison to Resident Evil 2. I mean, I was shooting at him and he wasn't staggering at all. Maybe a demo thing, I don't know. Thanks for the bullets. We're back outside. What's the deal? It's some kind of error while trying to download the demo. What do you mean? There's no, at least in my region. Whoa. Okay, he got me. At least in my region, there's no issues downloading the demo. Just follow the link in the description and you should be able to play the game. It's a free demo. Oh, here's the combination. Nine left, one right, eight left. I'm not going to bother with it. I have to change the GPUs again. But yeah. Seriously? Let me see what else do I need. The safe. Oh, I, I, do I actually need to open the safe? Okay. I thought it was optional. I'm wasting bullets like a maniac. I have way too many of them, as you can see. But yeah. Yeah, not even shooting them in the legs works. Okay, a little stagger, I can run away. I wasn't here before. Oh, there's a shotgun over there. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, look at the amount of headshots I'm, I'm giving to this guy. He doesn't stagger at all. Okay, the fire hose. The thing with that is that if you use it, the demo finishes. So I'm going to probably do that. Let me see if I can open this to the shotgun. Oh, I need the bolt cutters. I know where they are. But I'm just going to finish the demo and go for the 1650 Super at the moment. It's doing fine on the 570 on high settings 1080p. We were fine getting 60 frames. Then on 720p max on this other card. Hang on. I'm trying to see where I'm at. I'm kind of lost. Anyways, as I was saying, on the 570 and 1080p, almost maxed out, it was fine, over 60. 
as you would expect, considering how it runs on RE2 Remake. Then on the 1050 Ti, you can do 720p maximum, basically. Oh, here's Nemesis. Hi, Nemesis. Um, you can do 900p on this one. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll heal. What the hell? I'm going to die very soon if I don't do something. Okay, that's totally fair. Let's get out of here. Jill, for God's sakes, run faster. Okay. Yeah, this is how you finish the demo. There's a lot more to do. But anyways, I just wanted to finish the demo to go back and change GPUs. Whoa. Hi, Nemesis. Nice seeing you, buddy. Stores. Yeah, that's the demo. But again, you can explore more. You can get the shotgun. You can get more supplies. I mean, I finished it in seven minutes and I was do, but I know I knew where to go. And there are stalls to destroy. So yeah. No, I don't want to purchase this game right now. <laughs> I'm going to now swap to the 1650 Super. So be patient. I have things to do. Wow, what a reaction. Oh my god, Nemesis, oh no. Yeah, I knew he was coming. It was pretty obvious, but, but yeah. I'll be very I'll be very scared once the actual game releases. Their nemesis is probably going to be unexpected. Okay, I'm back with the um, 1050Di, so that was the card. I'll put this right here on the other computer. Let's now put the 1650 Super into the PC. Sorry about the screwed up wall. That's why, how it goes. This has a six pin connector. So let's go for it. Okay, and there's a fly that's pissing me off at the moment. Okay, the PC is now on again. It's time to just install the drivers. It's going to be done right away. So no worries. I'm going to put 1080p max, high textures and shadows, just like on the 570. But yeah, then what else? The specs, this is a 1650 Super. And for 1050 Ti and 570, you need to rewind. I already tested those. Okay. Whoop, I messed up. <laughs> there we go. And what else? The preview. This is a 1650 Super. So yeah, there's a fly pissing me off, as I said a second ago. All right, let me see. Okay, the drivers are installed now. We launch MSI Afterburner. And we now launch the game. Yeah, I'm going to hide that. Those are my credentials. You don't want to see them, trust me. You want your life to be better than that. Okay, we are now launching the game. Wish me luck. But yeah, it's really one time, everybody. 650 Super can be, yeah, it can be considered if it's not the super version, just ignore it. Not worth your time, at least in my opinion. Okay, the game is loading, that's why the CPU is maxed out. And now let's put 1080p on the highest, except in shadows and textures, because again, four gigs of VRAM. Okay, perfect. And I'll show you the frame rate counter so you know what's going on beautiful so yeah as you can see 1080p fxia plus taa high two gigabytes on textures so we don't run out of vram 
mesh, mesh quality on max, it doesn't make a difference, at least in my experience. Shadows, if you keep them on max, it jumps from 4 gigabytes to 6.7. So put it on high, save yourself some trouble. We have screen space reflections, subsurface scattering, volumetric lighting quality on the maximum, particle lighting quality maxed out, HPAO+, which is the most demanding option. And all the other stuff enabled, except in motion blur and lens distortion, which makes me kind of sick. That's why I disabled them. So yeah, those are the settings on the X11, because the X12 runs slightly worse. So let's try this again. Now we're using the 1650 Super. And again, when you just launch the game, the CPU is maxed out, then it'll start getting a little less use, but yeah. Okay, right now we're getting a lot of FPS, as you can see. But this is a close environment, let's go outside. Just like it happened on the 570, in this place it's not a huge hit to the performance. RX 588% better than the 1650 Super, 60% better than the 1650. Yeah, basically. Depends on the game, of course. Some games, the difference is even bigger. Some others, not so much. So, yeah. Let me change for one second um, the color space. I think the game just looks kind of gray. <laughs> in the live stream. Let's try this one. Now this looks way too dark. Okay, whatever. I guess it happens just like on RE2 Remake. That's fine. It usually happens on games with very dark environments. Yeah, yeah, I know how to combine things. Thanks Capcom. Yeah, let's combine it. Okay, perfect. And what else? Okay, let's go outside. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> 90 FPS. We'll see once an explosion shows up, but yeah, it's not going to get much different than this, I think. Okay, I think I got him. Nothing here. All right. Yeah, there are some stutters every now and then, and the CPU maxes out for a second. Same happened on RE2 Remake, not sure what's up with that. Not sure if it's DRM or the game itself. I don't even know if this demo has DRM actually. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, two for one. Yeah, I mean, when those new events happen, the CPU spikes, the frame rate spikes as well. The frame time, not the frame rate. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Probably cannot open that door. Don't open that door! And so far the 570, what the, so far the 570 was like, I mean, I don't remember the exact numbers at the top of my head, but the RAM usage was like at 7 gigabytes, not at 5.9. So yeah, for some reason the AMD card was using like an, an extra gigabyte of system RAM, still below 8 gigabytes of usage, so nothing to worry about. If you have 8 gigabytes of system RAM on dual channel, it will be okay. But I don't get why the big difference there. Okay, with explosion mid 60s, no big deal, still over the frame rate target. So yeah, 1080p doesn't need much tweaking at all, just lower textures to high, shadows to high, to not run out of VRAM, and it will be okay. And I suppose that I would be fine with a 1660 with max settings, yes of course, you have enough VRAM for that. Maybe lower the textures from the maximum to a couple options below since shadows on the maximum are pretty taxing on the VRAM 
But yeah, you can max it out just fine. If a 1650 Super can do it with almost maximum settings, you can do it. Let's try 1440p. Now that we're here. So now this is 1440p. I'm going to lower textures first to high one gigabyte, like on the 570. And I forgot, I need to show you the frame rates. If not, that doesn't make any sense for this video. Okay. So this is 1440p max with high textures and shadows. And we're getting low 50s when looking at fire. Not much else. Okay, over 50. Okay, guys, I should be back now. <laughs> Sorry about that. OBS got kind of bugged out. Let me know if, I, if I'm back. I should be back. Yeah, I should be back. Awesome. So as I was saying before it, the stream cut itself for some reason, I selected 1440p maximum settings with high shadows, high textures, all that good stuff. But I had to, but I tried SSAO because it was dropping below 60 frames per second with HBAO plus. So yeah, as I told you a second ago, if you lower from HBAO plus to SSAO, you get a good performance boost. So now instead of being into the mid 50s, I'm in the mid 60s or low 60s when I'm looking at some detail. So yeah, definitely an improvement. So yeah, if you want to do 1440p with some drops into the 50s, just use max settings, lower the ambient occlusion to SSAO, use textures on high, shadows on high, and you should be fine. It's a little better than the 570 so far, but it was to be expected. I'll consider a 580 to be on par in this one, probably a little faster. And you have more VRAM, so good news all around for RX 580 users. But yeah, the game is running very well. And it was kind of expected, kind of expected, because the Resident Evil 2 remake was running great. So yeah, it's running a little worse. There's more detail. There's more detail in general on the levels. So yeah. Luckily, they didn't screw it up just yet. Yeah, not sure why that button combination, it never works. Thanks for the herbs or the herbs, not sure how it's pronounced. Okay, let's make some bullets. Okay, I have a lot of bullets. A healing item, no bigger. Oh, that's the safe combination. And I have a ton of bullets, so let's waste them on this guy. Okay, don't go back to life, please. I may remember I'm watching him. Oh, whatever you're talking about. <laughs> um, do you think this is as well optimized as Resident Evil 2 Remake? I mean, yeah, it's the same engine. Probably some used some repeated assets, better said, that they were used on RE2. I mean, it's kind of expected because this is the same engine again. The movement is very similar. Now you run a little faster. The aiming is very similar, but now you have a dodge mechanic that I use very poorly, as you can see on screen on the example. <laughs> and um, what else? Let me heal. So yeah, I mean, I was uh, kind of expecting it. There's more level of detail. There's more things scattered around. There's more zombies. But yeah, other than that, it runs almost the same. It feels like a prettier Resident Evil 2 remake. But it still runs good, so. So yeah, not many complaints from my part. Let's very quickly try 4K. Yeah, those two bullets, I'm not going to grab them. 
but yeah 1440p on these settings is just fine let's swap to 4k we're not getting 60s at 4k just make sure to have that on your mind it's probably going to crash now no it didn't crash okay so now we're at 4k and i'm going to have to lower the settings so this will be 4k with what let me think probably medium settings is going to cut it so okay the vram usage is okay with high textures let's lower shadows to medium let's keep screen space reflections at the moment let's lower the volumetric lighting to low to have some sort of volumetric lighting going on particles on low let's keep the same ambient occlusion now that fulfilled now let's lower ambient occlusion to set areas only and yeah not much else yeah the rest doesn't make a huge difference let's disable the dynamic sharpening tool from amd that works on nvidia cards good thanks amd yeah this is basically 4k medium low i would say not sure let's try it like this and see how it goes oh and i forgot about the frame rate counter my apologies okay now you can see the frame rate i know it's blocky but it's because it's very tiny that's why how it happens that's what she said but yeah with these settings it seems to be okay at the moment probably going to drop below 30 with this barrel explosion but hey, first worth problems i guess okay i was right it dropped into the mid 20s so yeah the after the explosion is done you're okay So yeah, no big deal. Good stuff. Let's do now the settings I used on the 570. It was 4K low settings. So we're going to disable basically everything, even reflections. Yeah, I should have disabled the reflections. I don't know why I didn't. I'm kind of an idiot, but hey, it is what it is. Shadows on low, on the minimum. <laughs> Uh, maybe we can get good frames, who knows. This is 4K low. A Carmela le vamos a quemar rachos, Isabelio. Después te acompaño. So, uh, I'm using the lower settings at 4K, but using the TAA enabled, because without it, the hair on the characters looks terrible. And there is a lot of aliasing. What the? Okay, 60, 50 to 60. Kind of unexpected, if you ask me. Let's go to a more demanding place. Huh, interesting. What the heck? Yeah, I wouldn't play with this, with these settings, personally. But this is 4K, what the heck? Yeah, I'm dead, right? No, not dead yet. <laughs> oh yeah, what the hell? If you have a 590 or a 5, 580, you can probably do this, basically. Okay, drop into the 40s while looking at fire. Never mind. Let's see if I disable this, if something changes. Probably not. Okay, it did change. Without even ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion. Without anti-aliasing, we get a few extra frames. No, not a huge difference. Let's heal. Sorry, Jill. So yeah, 4K lower settings, 40 to 60 FPS, basically. And the game looks very, very sharp. Still, I'll enable the anti aliasing option, the one that has TAA. Because again, the hair looks very aliased. And I wouldn't play with these settings because, I mean, look at this thing. It's kind of bugged out. It's not unplayable with the settings, nowhere close to being unplayable. But I mean, you can play at 1440p, 60, and a mix between medium and high, so... I don't see much of a reason to do this. Personal opinion, of course. My own opinion. 
Anyways, that was the test. Let's now go back to 1080p like normal people do. You can do 1080p, 1440p or 4K with this card. Thumbs up to Capcom for doing a good job with the PC version. We crank up shadows, shadows, textures to high. FXAA plus TAA. And the card is very noisy now. <laughs> we put shadows on high. We want reflections, we want volumetric lighting, particles, HBIO plus, bloom, lens flares, no motion blur, no thanks, depth of field, no no lens distortion, that looks pretty bad. Fidelity FX, which is a dynamic sharpening tool from AMD that works on NVIDIA. And I have to lower, nah, everything is okay. Everything seems to be maxed out, good. And I'll change the status to 1080p max. High textures and shadows. And the frame counter, you cannot see it, so <laughs> I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, that's much better. Wonderful. So let's now finish the demo, and I'll be done with it. Because I already tested what I had to test. Yeah, 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 I know. This was the way to go. B run limit, what you're talking about? I'm so lost with the chat, sorry guys. Can you put the temperatures on screen? No, I can't. They're not realistic, so what's the point? I'm using an open test bench. In your PC, you won't get the same temperatures as me, so... Screw it, right? Mm, oh, I have to cut the chain. I'll gladly cut the chain. I now got the shotgun. Which is not mandatory, but I like trying it out. Oh, the inventory full. Let's combine this so I get some shotgun shells. Oh yeah, I love shotguns. Now I won't pick up the grenade, thank you very much. Nope. Okay. Let's say that was effective. So I have already everything I need to get out of here. I didn't come here before. Okay, I don't need that. Nothing here. A waste of time, this room. Uh, Nemesis is probably going to be waiting for me outside of this door, so... <laughs> okay, it wasn't. Good. What else do I need? Oh, the ammunition. Okay, I got some ammo. Okay, there's nothing here. Let's put the bolt cutters, let's keep them with us. Remind me of trying to... Okay, here was Nemesis. This was the door I was trying to avoid. Uh, yes, you can see there's Nemesis. Hopefully, I'm not dying. I dodged at the perfect time, as you can see. Oh yeah, I love bullet time. And Nemesis doesn't care that I have a shotgun. He's very smart, as you can see. Nope, that wasn't the great dodge. Come on. Geo, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah, the dodge mechanic is kind of restrictive. But that's fine. I guess it's supposed to be that way. Nemesis should be chasing me, but he's not. He knows that behind this door, the end of the demo is happening. As you can see when I put this here, the demo ends. 
So yeah, not a huge experience of Resident Evil 3, but at least we can play the game for 30 minutes. So yeah. That's basically the end of the live stream. I don't have much more to show you. This was Resident Evil 3 Remake Demo. If you want to see the 1050 Di of the 570, rewind the live stream and it will be okay. Other than that, that's about it. Here's the end of the demo with Nemesis at our side. Thank you guys for watching this live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, see you next time. Yes, the game uses the Nouveau, but I'm not sure if it uses uh, this on the demo. On the full game, it's probably going to use the Nouveau, but I mean, just look it on the internet. It's common knowledge, I think. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.